Oh, how can you know that it was my mom's birthday? Because you were supposed to be doing a test, and your mom said you can't test today. <laughs> Yeah, so you had a busy week. How was your mom's birthday? Did you get any presents? Oh, how can you know that it was my mom's birthday? Because you were supposed to be doing a test, and your mom said she can't test today. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I know. I know everything. Okay. okay, okay, but, but not always. But definitely on a Tuesday. I know everything on a Tuesday. But Wednesdays, 50-50. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So part one, social interaction. The examiner will ask you six questions and you will have two to three minutes to answer them. The examiner will, will ask you about two common topics. You will first need to answer the main question and give one or two reasons or examples to support your answer. All right. So the topic is going to be hometown. So the first question is, where do you come from? Uh, I come from a mountainous uh, area in the north side of Vietnam, which is called uh, Hanam. And uh, until now, I just uh, I have just um, visited my hometown twice or three times due to the like, far distance from my uh, home right now to my hometown. Okay. Do you like living in your hometown? Um, yes, I do like living in Kampha. The first reason is that my family and my friends are both living here. And the second reason is that the environment and also the atmosphere is suitable for me to live in. Okay, great. What is it famous or well-known for? Uh, can you repeat the question, please? What is it famous or well-known for? Okay. Um, Kampha is um, popular uh, for, uh, firstly, it's uh, for coal mines, and secondly, it's the prison here. The coal mines? Coal mines and Quiz and uh, like the food and quiz cuisine just like quiz cuisine quiz cuisine like magazine cuisine, cuisine. yeah okay good, good good all right so topic two is the future about your future okay question one what is your dream job in the future, I'm dreaming of becoming a businesswoman because uh, it, it is a job that I can make money well and it will take uh, full advantage of my uh, ability to make strategies. Make strategies. All right. Yes. Question two. How long do you think it will take you to get there? How long will it take you to get to where you want to be, where you want to get there, to be a businesswoman? Uh, I believe that it will take me a long time and a long process of training to become a businesswoman because it's, uh, it's a challenging job to become and I have to make several venture decisions uh, in this job. So a couple of years so, after high school, you plan to go to university? No, more than that. Uh, it this job requires uh, experience. Mm, that is true. So, if being a businesswoman didn't work, what would be your second choice? If your first choice did not work, you just I think this. What would you do? I think becoming a teacher, an English teacher, would be my substitute. Because uh, I, I think I'm quite good at. Uh, English grammar, and I think I can teach it to uh, the children. Good choice. Always, it's always good to have a backup plan. But 
focus on your first plan first. Absolutely. Give it everything. All right. That's good. All right. So now we're going to go to part two. Okay. Part two, social discuss solution discussion. The examiner will give you a situation with three options to select from. You will have one minute to prepare your answer. You will have two to three minutes to discuss your answer. The examiner will ask you to select one option and explain the advantages. You must give two reasons or examples to support your answer and then give one disadvantage for each of the two options not chosen. All right, so your town plans to organize an open festival and many visitors will come. Which job below do you think will be the most suitable for you? One, a tour guide. Two, an event coordinator. Or three, a master of ceremonies, an MC. So you will have a minute to prepare for these answers, or this answer, and then you can tell me. Starting now. is up. Why the time runs so fast? Oh, I give you a minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> First time, so I give you a little bit of a break. So, please share your answer. Uh, Discuss your situation. Uh, if my town is about to uh, celebrate uh, op an open festival, I would choose to be a tour guide in that festival. Because uh, firstly, I think I'm quite good at um, foreign language, so it would be an advantage for me if I have to interact with the foreign visitors from different countries. Okay, that's good. Uh, Second. Secondly, secondly I think uh, at school I'm quite good at uh, geography and history, so uh, becoming a tour guide would uh, would be quite a good choice for me, as I, I can use my knowledge in such two subjects to help with this job. Okay. Um, I I have. Uh, no intention of becoming an event co co coordinator. Just, I'm not good at organizing things appropriately for uh, different positions in the festival. And I don't want to become a master of ceremony because I think I don't have an exceptional ability to speak fluently uh, in front of the public. So I would be shy when doing this job. You would be shy, huh? Yeah. Okay, see, that wasn't difficult. Piece of cake. No problem. But I think I have to speak in two or three minutes. It's too long. Uh, it's almost two minutes, so that's not bad. Again, that I mean, they are going to score that. They're going to keep under consideration the time as well, because then that's when you can give extra details about things that you like or don't like in your examples. But in general, the, in order, the key to passing these tests is to be very clear so that they completely understand what you're saying and you're following all the directions. That's the big thing. Part three, topic development. The examiner will give you a topic to develop in the form of a statement. The task is designed to create more discussion. The examiner will give you an outline, you the outline meaning the mind map, you will have one minute to prepare your answer. In addition, the examiner will ask you three related questions, allowing you to demonstrate supporting details to the topic. You will have three to four minutes to give a talk 
and answer the questions. I will give you three extra questions after you do your presentation um, to help give more detail. You are required to develop the topic using the given mind map to help guide you. So here we go. Discuss the topic, smoking should be banned in public places. As guided in the outline below, secondhand uh, smoke, health effects, smokers' health, financial burdens, or any ideas you might have to support your discussion, your topic. So I'm going to give you a minute, starting now. So the statement is, smoking should be banned in public places. Do you agree with that statement or do you wish to argue different points? Um, I totally that uh, smoking should be banned in public places because I think it has a really negative impact on many sides of society. Um, firstly, it has a bad influence on public health, including for the smokers and the secondhand smokers. Uh, it's damaging to the smoker lungs because while smoking, they have to take in some really poisonous, uh, uh, some poisonous uh, smoke. And it's also destru uh, destructive to many other, uh, many other, uh, many other. Non-smokers? <laughs> No, I am talking about these smokers. Uh, their uh, smoking is also destructive to uh, many other like body parts, uh, like, uh, and gradually it would make the smoker uh, like be prone to uh, uh, lung cancer, lung cancer, and gradually to death. And for the second-hand smoker, uh, it's even more dangerous. Uh, they have to take in more, more smoke from the smokers. Uh, some, uh, the smoking would may turn the healthy kids or healthy people into the, like, um, the, the, the one with cancer. And for the society, it is um, smoking. The smokers become a financial burden. Uh, they have to invest a huge amount of money on buying uh, buying uh, cigarettes per day, and um, and the if and when the smokers. Uh, become unhealthy. They are unable to like become a part of the workforce. So it will uh, prevent the economy of a country from developing day after day. Right, for um, everybody. Yeah. And, um, All right. Here's a couple more questions to help add some information here. Did you ever have a cigarette before? Never. <laughs> my, both my parents and uh, uh, like the school principal always prevent prevent us from like having cigarettes. So I have never experienced one. That, of course, is very good. But I'm sure you've seen some of your friends try a cigarette. Yes, they're trying some kind of like vape. Oh, the vape. That's a little different. Yeah, actually, I don't really know much about vape. I've never tried that. But uh, try I'm sure try. it's probably better than smoking cigarettes. But anyway, question two, why do many people want to smoke? Uh, I think for the, um, for the older people, maybe they try once and they want some more. But for the youngsters, I think 
there are many people who are who try to be to look tougher, to look like uh, they're growing up. So they want to try smoking, and uh, gradually they will get addicted to this. To be cool, what, peer pressure, yeah. And that often is the case for young young teenagers and stuff like that. It's all about because their friends are doing it and they think it's cool. Yeah. And all of a sudden they find themselves being addicted. Yeah, that's true. The third and last question. Now, you know, they have don't smoke signs, all kinds of stuff all over the place. Yet people still smoke in malls and smoke on buses and, and all kinds of crazy things like this. What should you do to prevent smoking in public places? What can be uh, done? I think, um, I think the government should adopt like the the fine on the smokers, the financial. It should be a financial solution because uh, people. The I think the signs that tell don't smoke like makes no difference to the smokers. They just see it and ignore it. But if the government uh, like, put a like, punishment and fine, yes, yeah, the worst, worst is enforce the laws. Start yeah. fining people that are doing this instead of just ignoring it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's the that's the common. I think who, who has it? I think it was Coco said, "Just put them in jail." I think it's not necessary. <laughs> Give them a chance. Yeah, fines usually work because if they actually enforce the fines, it makes people think twice about doing it again. That is true. I agree. To me, that's that's probably the best solution is actually send the police out every once in a while, walking around looking for people breaking the laws and smoking and then actually finding them, not just telling them to stop, but doing it. Then then people would take it seriously. I agree with you. All right. That's a pretty good test. Uh, it's your first time as well. I'm surprised. I thought maybe uh, with the school you're going to, you may have done some of these forms of tests before. But um, it's all good. So keep in mind, um, I don't know if I'll be testing with you again. I hope we see you again soon. But if not, remember that when you do these tests, it doesn't matter if you're telling a, a story, making it up as you go. The key is to focus on what is asked, meaning give that answer nice and clear and straight right away, and then support it with a couple of reasons or a couple of examples and make it nice and clear. That is the key to passing all these tests, all right? Okay. So I want to wish you a lot of luck at your new school. I hope everything works out in the dorm and you have fun and you won't okay. have to chase your sister anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, good job. I'll send you your report real soon. So we'll uh, hopefully be talking to you again soon. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.